remind me. Yeah, yeah. I'll just. Elio, put on no, the the the, the we headphones. Don't, we don't need to do that. I will just come next to you if necessary. Okay, spray. okay, yeah. yeah, because I forget in the. Yeah, yeah, I know. I will just remind. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me where. Oh, you are ready. I, I, I stay here. Can we try? Where's here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, can you talk? Just hello, say hello. words. Yes. Hello. Prova, prova, prova. Prova, prova. Prova, uh, bambino, prova. Sevgili dostlar, tercih yapıyoruz. Tercihme ihtiyacı olan kardeşlerim şey verebiliriz. Yani bu var mı? Our concept is dream of sun meeting in the economy. Yeah. yeah, 30 minutes, 30 minutes yeah, after. Yes, in the economy. They are ruler and entrepreneurs. And they All of them. Yeah. Three, three, four peers in the snots. Yeah. But 90% is the entrepreneurs. Prova, prova, one, two, three. One, two, three. Perfetto. Sevgili dostlar, hepiniz hoş geldiniz öncelikle. Bugün hakikaten çok değerli bir misafirimiz var. Eliyodan da bizlerle beraber olacak. Kapı kapatabilirseniz daha iyi olur. Eğer e, tercüme ihtiyacı olan varsa lütfen e, söylesin. Baştan böyle bir yarım saat, bir dakika ne kadar eğer isterseniz o kadar beraber olacak. Konuşma konusu inner ekonomi. Sonra beraberce yeme içeceğiz. Elio'yu üç ayrı parçaya böldük. Starterlarda bir masada, e, ana yemekte başka bir masada, tatlarda başka bir masada olacak. E, ama tüm gece beraberiz bu arada. O zaman güzel alkışlarınızla Elio'yu bırakıyoruz. Thank you. Sinan is so much like me that Someone uh, takes us as brothers. They, they think that we are brothers. And, uh, and uh, yesterday I was asking uh, Sinan to substitute me. And uh, when I come to, to Istanbul, he could uh, take my place and uh, speak for me. And I stay at home because I am going up and down in the world. And then I feel tired. And it's a strange story of Einstein. He was a uh, he was really uh, sick and tired to, to, to have conferences in the world. And uh, it's, 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 uh, he didn't know what to do. He had uh, you know, a sort of itinerary for, uh, for uh, the next 10 years. And, uh, but uh, he's a chauffeur, he's a, he's a driver. He said, look, I am working for you since 15 years. And, uh, 
I know everything about you. I know all the answers that you give to people. They are always the same questions. Please, uh, let me substitute you. And you, you can uh, uh, rest and you can stay. Oh, that's good. And, and the chauffeur yeah, bought some uh, moustache and some uh, white hair. And he was going on the stage, you know, speaking in uh, his place. And the questions, you know, they went on and on for months, and the questions were always the same. He was very prepared to answer. And, uh, but one day, one, one person, one of the, the, in the audience, you know, asked a very, very complex uh, question. Then the, the chauffeur didn't know what to, what to do, but, but you know, he had just an idea. He said, you know, Mister, your uh, question is so simple that uh, all, even my uh, chauffeur can answer it. Then this is what, the way, how, how can I use Sinan one day to substitute me and, you know, in all my uh, travel. Okay, it was just uh, to introduce me, myself, and tell you, tell you that, that uh, I see the business and the world and the economy in a very mm, personal way. And I really believe that the economy is an inner matter. It's not an external matter. Then we should uh, consider um, the, uh, the, this uh, world that we neglected for so many centuries and f for so many years, which is uh, the world of causes and not the world of effects. We are not reacting to the world. We are proacting. We are, uh, you know, creating the world as it is and not created by the world. And then the world is as it is because you yourself are as you are, and not vice versa. Then you see, if you start to understand that you yourself are the very creator of the reality you are living in, you know, things will be different. If you have some problems, if you have some difficulty, if a bank says no to some laws or, uh, you know, you have a competitor that is very, very aggressive, you have to turn towards yourself and see that, that uh, the inner economy can uh, resolve all problems. All the problems. You have a problem with your wife, with your uh, husband, with your children, with your uh, uh, the, your business with world with the entire world then you have to turn towards yourself and see what is corresponding to this problem because the problem is just a manifestation of something that you created within yourself un unconsciously then you create something within yourself without knowing and then something appears outside yourself, menacing, attacking you, because you are not aware of what was going on. Then if you turn toward yourself, you will see that there you will find the right answer to everything, to all and everything. You see the, the world outside, the, 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 the external world is a uh, It's as it is because you are as you are. You know, it's, it's, uh, there is uh, nothing that happens outside yourself that is uh, not corresponding to what you are. Nothing. Nothing can happen out there that is not first happened within yourself. Then to, for something to happen externally, there 
you you have to give sorry about uh, you have to give your uh, inner approval your inner consent this is a very strange you know it's then you know if you understand this you cannot anymore blame the others for your misfortunes you cannot uh, complain anymore you cannot justify your uh, error and mistakes because you yourself are the creator the dreamer of the world you are living in this is a um, discovery personal discovery i will i will i tried all the revolutions in, in the music business and i was myself a rock star then then in the uh, entrepreneurship i have hotels restaurants and many other businesses but that is not the way you can change the world i am in the education business i have universities in many countries <coughs> but that is not the way not even education can change the world only you yourself transforming yourself you will see that the world will uh, correspond to your self transformation for what uh, sinan told me that you are entrepreneurs i believe that that what i'm going to tell you is uh, very personal it is not something that you can uh, share with others when a problem comes when uh, the world around you is menacing you is attacking you 360 degrees you cannot complain you cannot you have to to be in, in your room being with yourself and facing the fear within yourself and you will understand that fear is not something that comes after the attack fear comes first you first are afraid and then you justify your fear with something happening outside yourself and the outer world is just reflecting you it's just expressing you know what you really are in yourself then then if you are unaware of what is going on within yourself you will uh, find the troubles and difficulties in the outer world but if you are conscious if you are present to what is happening within yourself you will see that the outer world is corresponding and uh, in harmony and uh, all the, the 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 wealth that you are asking for it will arrive to you as a consequence I'd like you to have some you know to ask some questions if you, something is not clear because because you know could be just a personal vision and uh, which uh, does not correspond to your uh, experiences but I tell you vision and reality are one and the same inner states and the outer events are one and the same there is no gap between the inner and the outer your dream which is within yourself you neglected for so many years probably you never you never touched your dream within yourself is corresponding to life life is uh, as rich as uh, healthy and wealthy as you are then you are the producer you are the creator you are the dreamer you yourself you yourself you are the doer nothing can happen out there without your inner consent you are the creator and not the created when you become the created you become an insect and the the world will 
will overwhelm you and you will be, you know, destroyed. But if you return to yourself, you will see that you are the main cause of all and everything. And everything will recognize you as the creator. The world know when you return to your uh, right of creator. And this is very interesting because the world is not separate from you. The world is just one thing with you. I know that it, you know, it, it sounds uh, philosophical, but it is not. But this is uh, concrete. This is uh, my experience and it is uh, the, what, what I believe it is real. The world outside ourselves is just a movie. It's a theater. And you, can, you are the producer. You are the, write, the script writer. Then if you want to change something in the, the movie, it's useless that you try to scratch the screen, the world. You have to turn towards yourself and see that the, the very code is within you. Do you have any question? You are an entrepreneur. I mean, I, mean, I, I think that you have seen uh, something, uh, you know, very heavy in your life. Okay. So you're telling actually you, we are the directors of our own movie. Yeah. Uh, yes, you one, are. Yeah. yeah. Is one uh, movie enough for this dream? One movie is enough sometimes because you know, here cannot, maybe you know in, in one lifetime you cannot like fight against it. Uh, maybe, you know, I don't know. It's just like in a it's lifetime you will never touch your dream. You will saying. So I mean, maybe I can, you know, maybe I can right now, maybe, you know, people has these fears and maybe they can fight against it. And sometimes, you know, some people die at the end, right? So what happens next? Because some, sometimes maybe it's not enough. One lifetime is not enough or don't Oh, it, it is uh, enough. It's very, it's a lifetime is uh, an eternity. If you have conquered something, you can do it right now. You cannot do it in time. You cannot say, tomorrow I will uh, be integrated. I will be a person that can deal with the world and I can uh, rule and uh, guide the world as I want to. It's not now. You can do it only now, in this very moment. Tomorrow doesn't exist. Then a man of integrity is a man who functions, works always in this very moment. Solution, you cannot uh, plan a solution. The solution comes in that very moment. You can hear your collaborators saying, oh, I would do this, I would do that. You can listen to them. But the solution comes in this very moment. Not before, not later. And you have to be very, very present to yourself, to what is happening within yourself. And you will see that you are complete, you are integrated, you are an integrity. And you will answer to all questions, to all problems. It doesn't matter if they are very heavy, very tough, you will answer to all problems. And find a solution to all problems. But you have always to turn towards yourself. You know, there's no help coming from outside. No help coming from outside. You know, if the bank gives you that loan, it's because you deserve it. If you do not deserve it, the banks today, the, the computer says no. And you will not receive that loan. You, know, you have to deserve it more than desire it. Deserve it more than desire it. Yeah. Now, is the solution. now is the answer. It's strange because we never live in a now, in a state of nowness. We never live in it. We are always project, projected in the 
in something tomorrow, after tomorrow, you know, next year. But we are, not, we are um, never living in the, this very moment. Okay, then. How to live the moment or, or how to access the, the now? Because it's, it's the toughest thing to do, I think. I mean, how to access Sorry, this, this moment? Eh? Is there a magic key or something? No, this moment is uh, huge. It's uh, so, you know, large. That we we you know we are we have been taught to live in time. Whatever you do, you know you are just planning in time. You are remembering in time. But we are never in this very moment. This very moment, you know, find all the solutions. And it's now this moment we are living this moment. You will see that your inner state, whatever it is is corresponding perfectly to all the people who are related to you. Then you are controlling and uh, giving direction to all your organizations and your business, and uh, further and further. Then, then in this very moment, you can control and protect your business. If you are in the, in the external and identified, identified with the external, you will never find solution. Sometimes the solution comes, but it is, uh, you are unaware of it. It comes, and sometimes it comes a destruction. That is very, very heavy. But if you are within yourself and you are present to yourself, you, you know, Disasters will never materialize outside yourself. Just being present, just observing yourself, and you will never be attacked by anything that can destroy you. This is my experience, and I tell you this is, uh, you know, I have done everything. I have been, uh, you know, in all uh, uh, ideolo ideological groups and the spiritual groups and the to understand that all and everything comes from you and from within. Please. How long does it take oh. to change? Okay. Sorry, I will keep it. How long does it take to change? It doesn't take time. It doesn't take time. This is a trick. You know, we we uh, create a trick to say, okay, in you know, one year. Two years I would do yoga, uh, meditation, and uh, I'm going to the gym and uh, doing uh, all the exercises and everything. You never change. The, the real change happens now, in this very moment. If you understand right now, your life will change. But we do not want to understand. We are very much in love with our suffering. We cannot give up our sufferings. We love to be protected by our sufferings. Then if, I, if I, I was able to eliminate your sufferings, you would suffer much more than before. You know, it's so. I mean, we are lying to ourselves saying, uh, you know, I want to change, and uh, yet I will uh, stop smoking uh, tomorrow. And uh, I will stop eating uh, so much, and, uh, so I will do two days of uh, fasting. But that is not the change. This very moment, if you understand, life will uh, transform in a magic way. Yeah, sorry, yeah, you, that's good, that's a good uh, question. You see, if you are acting, the father, the husband, the uh, businessman, the, 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 you are signing contracts, you are doing all the business, but this time, consciously acting. 
and you have to be an actor with everybody. And uh, acting is not lying. Acting is more real than reality. If you act consciously, I don't know if you, I, I am able to convey to you acting consciously. Because we are, we are acting, all of us. We are, we are all actors and actresses. But we are not act, we really believe in the, in the role we are uh, acting. You have to stop believing and acting consciously. You understand? Yes. Then, and remain within yourself intact, you know, in harmony. And uh, You can be very heavy with your uh, people, really uh, severe and uh, tough, but acting. And if you act consciously and you are heavy, they will understand and they will love you very much. If you do not act consciously, they will hate you. <laughs> and they will do also some bad things to you. Was it clear? You know, it, it's uh, the act of acting. This is very, very, very important. Yeah, some student was saying, but uh, you are telling us to, to lie to the world. Yeah, you are lying to the world all the time. But uh, this time, try to lie consciously. And you will see that they will never call it a lie. Yeah. So that means you live in a dream life. In a, uh, but the dreaming for me is uh, the real world. Yeah. It's not uh, the onic uh, dreaming in night time. You know? okay. Dreaming is the real world. You are creating your world. And the, uh, your world is just the dream. You are the dreamer. And this is very, very important. If you act consciously, you will see that sometimes you are very humble. You are, but if you act humbleness, you are in charge of everything. But acting, not believing that you are humble. She has a question, I guess. Yes, please. Merhaba, Türkçe soracağım ben. Do you want me to have it? No. Yes, no. No matter how much I'm aware of my divinity and my potential, the external happenings, mind, the situation of the world, you know, evil people, many people surviving us. Sometimes they simply hear us in terms of our struggle. They are various. And this is my question to you. So this divinity and this inner being or this being revealing those is becoming more and more difficult for us. How to match that challenge? So those external factors, when they are really in the now, how to manage those, how to guide them, how to direct and how to simply just support us in that respect. So. Yes. Yes. You manage doing nothing. You shouldn't take any decision. To decide means to cut. To decide means that you have to decide between two or three or thousands of things. You have to act as a, someone who is uh, resolving a problem, <coughs> acting as an actress. But you shouldn't believe that you are finding the solution. The solution comes if you are intact within yourself. That is the only attention that you have to give. Whatever happens outside yourself does matter. You have to act with everybody, with your collaborators, with your, with your family, with the world outside yourself, but acting within yourself. You have to remain <coughs> in the nowness, in the, in the state of uh, integrity and uh, harmony. That is something that belongs to you. It's not something that you have to achieve. You have to eliminate layers and layers of uh, bad stuff. You know, I call that zavorra, that means the, the ballast, that the balloon, a balloon if it has to, to fly, you need to, to eliminate the ballast, otherwise you cannot fly. Then to 
to resolve all the problems, to deal with the people around you, you should learn to do nothing. And at the same time, you acting your role, what they want you to play, they, what they want you to, you know, the role that you want to, uh, they want you to play. And you have to be impeccable. You have to be precise to understand what the other person is asking from you. I don't know if I answered your question. If you about the business community, about the business world, there are questions we all encounter. But of course we have to stay in the moment, we have to be aware of our potential. We have to be there for that time. But the, the payments outside, you know, we have all sorts of different uh, problems. The economy is disrupted, we have anxiety, we have concerns which are destroying us. So being there for us, do you not think how to solve not those problems? I'm not actually, you know, I didn't seem to put my thing. I'm not communist, can't be communist. I can't be communist in my inner world, or to say. Or maybe I can't do that, so just want to do yeah, yeah, we. I read your books twice, but still I don't seem to be yeah. able to manage that. Yeah, right, yeah. You know, it's, uh, you will not like what I'm going to tell you. You know, it's uh, you. You were saying before also about the divinity. Now that is uh, inner divinity. You know, it's like uh, the dreamer. It's the dreamer within you. It's something divine. Okay. I mean, uh, whatever you see outside yourself is uh, coming from you. You say, how can I stop all the sufferings in the world, the poverty? The hunger in the world. It's, uh, I mean, I feel uh, impotent to do this. And I tell you that uh, that poverty, that war, that suffering is only within you. When one day you will get rid of that suffering, you will never see any more people suffering. It is just uh, some news coming from uh, hypnotizing media, from uh, some fake news. But the world is suffering because you, yourself, are suffering. The moment that you stop suffering, the world stops suffering. It is strange to say things. I know that you will never agree with me. But the world is not suffering. You, yourself, are suffering. This is, an, you know, you can say, but this way we will be uh, without uh, pity for the world, for the people who are suffering. People are not suffering, only you yourself. And you find the excuse, seeing the other suffering, as to justify your inner pain, inner suffering. It is only yours. It doesn't belong to anybody else. I mean, you agree with me. It's, it's my vision, and this is, you know, I am sure that, that, that we can think about. Thinking about is a, a great, a great thing, you know, because, because we all agree with the fact that the world is suffering and we'd like to do something for the world. I did a lot to try to change the world, to, to, to change the wars and to change poverty and doing for the others. But you, 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 uh, you will fail. And you will be disappointed. And the more you do for the others, the more disappointed you will be. Because the others do not want to be helped by anybody. The others are in that condition because they deserve it. And they, through that condition, they will grow. They will develop. If we accept the fact that there is a world outside ourselves, Otherwise, you return to yourself and you will see that uh, pain, sufferings, disasters, calamities are only within you and not in uh, anybody else.
I come to you. Okay. I have a question as well. I'm so happy to be here. So thank you very much. We have a distinguished doyen of Guru like you. So thank you so much. This is how I like to start my speech. So all of the people here, all of the participants, are the students. They are ready so that they found the master like you. So I 100% agree with that. And all of these friends, even though uh, no, you don't accept that, or if they don't accept that, they're going to be coming to what you just felt up in talk. So they will be coming there. But there's one thing which I'd like to show you. Too. It's not that easy for each and every one of us that contemplation. You know, maybe some of us have gone through different phases, and for some of us, are struggling with ourselves, most of us. And it's not like, you know, which, as you can say, which could happen a snap of finger because we are getting rid of time, features. So I just want to share my opinion with you. Yes, it's an expansion of consciousness, but it's process. And there's also one thing which I mean that each and every one of us have a number of issues which we have faced, fears, concerns, anxieties, things which we are leaving behind right now when we fail to finish them and you know, uh, seem to be over with them. It's rather impossible to be in the moment and in the moment. I just wanted to share those. Yes, Thank you. yes. We, uh, we have not been taught to live uh, in now. And uh, the state of nowness is uh, something that we uh, is uh, something that uh, is an alien you know the nowness the state of uh, being uh, right here now is something that doesn't belong to us and yet it's our very nature to live in the now to deal with your fear is a beautiful thing it's a great opportunity we think that fear is uh, something that that uh, something that is real, something that, that uh, belongs to all of us. And I tell you that uh, fear is something inexistent, non-existent. If you try to chase, seize fear, you try to chase it, you see that, that, that uh, you never grasp it. You will never catch it. It's impossible. If you try to seize it, but we, when, when fear comes, we just run away. We escape. We don't want to know anything about it. For me, fear was a great ally. Great ally. When I, I was trying to catch it, when I was closing myself in a room, and say that then there is me and you, me and fear. You know, fear disappears. Fear disappears. Fear is, is a non-existent. Uh, and that is, a, is a ruling and governing the entire humanity. You say, you know, this is for a few. Yes, I wrote the book for a few people. I am, I know that I will never be popular, never, my writings also, they sold in this country 200,000 copies, it's, a, it's something huge, and yet, I don't think that anybody understood what I meant, but it is for few, my university is for few people, we have classrooms of seven, eight people, classrooms, not hundreds. Because I want to know the parents, you know, their dreams, the, 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 the business of the parents, to understand that the person, the student, has to really realize his own dream. But when you are in a classroom with so many people, you just get lost. And this is also for everything I, I, 
I've done. In the music business, I was an avant-garde music, going against all the, uh, the, the classic music and the, the class, classic rock uh, stars and all those things. And when I was a businessman, I did uh, hotels for uh, people who do not love hotels. They find themselves in a house. They don't have the fridge in their room. They have the people coming at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, serving them 24 hours a day. And when I was in the education, I wanted to do something that was really telling the people that education can never teach you from outside. You can only come from within. Education means ex luco, from Latin means uh, to bring out, not to inject. Then education means uh, to come out with your own dream, with the, your own uniqueness, and not, uh, you know, to be stuffed with uh, uh, obsol obsolete knowledge, second-hand ideas, but with your own ideas that will come from uh, from within. Then it is a. Pro uh, um, it is an inside-out process. Can you translate this? It is an inside-out process. It's not outside-in. It's an inside-out process. I want the students to come out of their own uniqueness and their own dream, and not to tell them what to study or uh, you know, to study something that I studied 40 years ago. You have to come out with your own knowledge, which I call self-knowledge. <coughs> then you are your own teacher, your own master. You don't need anybody outside yourself. But okay, you have to go to school, to the university, and do all the things that everybody's doing, but acting to be a student, not to believe to be a student. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, yeah, there is some parts about Lupilius. Lupilius, uh, the warrior. Hmm? Right. Lupilius. Lupilius, yes. So there are some parts like um, <clears throat> so word is not ready for this some kind of knowledge. Um, so I actually kind of about think I think that I know that kind of knowledge. I want to hear it from a warrior's side. So actually I was going to hand up to these people, these specific people, because you know I think a lot of people read read your book. Okay. I don't know some topics about the pills would be really fine. Yeah. But. I, I, I would prefer that you can ask something that is personal. You know, that, that to tell you about Lupelius. Lupelius was a, a warrior, a monk warrior. That was, was creating all the, the troubles for his uh, students and uh, disciples, just to, to, to make them aware of that, that they had to transform you know, the, 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 all the, the, the misfortunes, all, all the attacks that were coming from outside. This is just, he was just a master. But you yourself, come out with your... Do you have a problem in your life? Of do, course do I do. I have you have some problem. You, you want to solve Everybody it? Has a problem, no? <laughs> yeah, but think about yourself. You know? Then I destroyed all the problems, you know? In myself, I destroyed you know, I was so uh, attacking fears and doubts and worries within myself that they disappeared and I don't know where they are and I tell you, they do not exist. If, you, if, we, um, if we accept the fact that fear is a, a reality, then we will uh, remain slaves for lower all our life. O zaman şöyle yapalım. E, hem de aç almamış olursunuz. Dilerseniz masalımıza devam edelim. Zaten elli oyu tutmuş da olacağız. Bu da bir daha gelir. Yemekteyken de terbiye etme şansı olur. Evet. Bir hangi masadaysa orada bir ihtiyacı olan olursa eğer karşılığımız devam ediyor. Ama sizden de çok sanırım o masada giderdiniz mi? But we will listen to the topic because that would be rather personal, and we will continue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.